Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 19. All right, the previous episode, a few things uh, happened. First of all, Anna came uh, to Yo's, uh, you know, to Yo's place, and he made, uh, she made Hao. Uh, There's a little bit of confrontation. Anna slapped Hao, <laughs> and then, uh, like you know, we met a new character, Chocolate, and he and his <laughs> puns and also he wants to join us that as well uh, we broke up into two teams and uh, yeah manta is also here and then there was a whole uh, greater spirits blessing great spirits blessing uh, that uh, yo got and he went unconscious whereas ren himself was so what can i say resilient that he was not unconscious uh, even after like you know getting all the what do you call it mm, uh, all the information crammed up into uh, the brain at the same time like that's a huge stress but Ren was able to withstand that and uh, yeah that and also uh, oh and in the end we got to see that I think uh, like you know uh, like I probably was unable to catch that before but a few people actually told me in the comments that it was there were hints given that uh, the guy uh, with the mask uh, he was uh, he is Yo's dad and uh, honestly speaking I really did not catch that uh, in the previous episode it was the first time I actually realized that oh my god he's he's actually the dad of Yo so that was quite a surprise for me and uh, that and also like in the end we see that Manta uh, meets Faust who is kind of um, I don't know like kind of acting crazy a little bit like w w speaking mumbling weird stuff and let's see what happens now and uh, what happened with Faust uh, we know what happened in a way but he looks very what can I say uh, disturbed so let's see what's uh, what will happen in this episode so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 19 of Shaman King so I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Whoa, Manta, calm down. Oh, he's singing. I'm intrigued by the song. Oh no. Um my false love, okay. Why is he making puns now? Wait, what happened to Eliza? It seems as if yeah, it seems as if something happened to her. Like, we saw him before in the in one of the previous scenes, I think. Was Eliza there? I, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, let's wait for it. And he's crying as well. So I'm guessing something happened to Eliza. Well, you know what? Uh, even if something happened to Eliza, I'm sure um, Anna can bring her back. No, because uh, she uh, that's that's her power, calling spirits, and you know. So even if if, if maybe he lost her or something happened, that's why she's crying and everything. If that's if that's the case somehow. I'm guessing Anna will help her or something. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> making guesses. Let's see what actually happened to her. <clears throat> All right. God. 
Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh, he didn't know that. <laughs> what? Oh no. Um. Wait, he's so small. In, in front of Faust. <laughs> A skeleton dog. Yeah. What the hell is he doing? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Yeah, he, he that means he really lost her or something happened. What's with Manta's face? Wait, couldn't, couldn't he just leave peacefully with, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Oh no, I feel bad. Wait, okay, he he left him. Wait, that's the dog's name? Yeah, a little bit. Oh boy. That's what you're <laughs> concerned with? You did cut you off it. Oh my god. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> oh my god. Ryu. Hmm. Oh my god. Ah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, true. Hmm. Yeah, as I was saying that Anna can help him. <laughs> Do you? Ah. Oh boy. He'll be happy, very happy. What? Oh! <laughs> Wait, that's her goal? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> beer. <laughs> it is like, yeah, we need to find him fast. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell is he doing here? What?
Oh no, this is what I was fearing. This is what I was fearing. I was fearing that someone will get him before you. <sighs> Master. Whoa, they have a... Oh. Whoa, whoa. What? Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, she's good with them. Hmm. Pieces are coming together. Whoa. Wait, they didn't find Lysark? I'm guessing. Cheerleaders. Oh, really? Hmm. <laughs> oh, boy. There's a dad! What the hell? <laughs> oh my... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, okay, let's see. Oh, Foss is here! Wait, is, did he join them? I think so. Lyser is like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh my god, they're all dressed up. Yeah. Okay. Radim. Radim.
What the? <laughs> Rule one, three on three, no time limit. Okay. Hmm. Oh. All right. Okay, simple rules. <clears throat> Whoa, what's happening? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Chucking things at me is a waste of time. <laughs> well, he's talking from experience. <laughs> oh, Good God. <clears throat> okay, here we here he is. <laughs> the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Upon what? Oh, they're all house, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a bozu. <laughs> There's a bozu. Yes. <laughs> They're all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Leaves empty chocolate, yes. <laughs> I'll make you the I'll take the leader. <laughs> yeah, who who knows if they're the Yeah. <clears throat> okay, she's here. Sixty That means there are like 16 teams or something like that, or less than that. <laughs> no, three. Th no, 21 teams, sorry. <laughs> Catchy beat. Oh boy, the song! Oh! <laughs> okay, Chocolate, come on. <laughs> okay, Chocolate is nothing happened to him. <laughs> wow, okay, good. Let's go. <laughs> Remix <laughs> What is happening? Whoa, he's eating. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> the other guy is still not doing anything. The other guy. He's still standing. Old man from New York. <coughs> oh. You're the strongest beast. Whoa. <laughs> up oh, it won't work yeah wow it's like it's in slow motion not even in slow motion everything's like stopped it's so fast wow that was quick Yeah, chocolate is strong. Okay, but there's the other guy left. I don't know. Maybe he's strong. Much <laughs> Oh. All right. Oh, he knew it. That's why he said that. <coughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why he took them in. <laughs> wow. Peyote. Okay, that's his name. <coughs> oh, he doesn't care. All right. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Whoa, what the? Yeah. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. Wait, what? Is he controlling him or something? Just a sec. Medium. Oh my god. Wait, so, okay. So, that's like his speciality, I'm guessing. Using... I'm guessing using people as a medium to fight. So, but that's like... Very... I'm sure that's not all of his power. There must be something else because that will keep make him vulnerable, you know, so <clears throat> Like Chocolate is handling both of the bosses So if it is really that he's 
his power is just like using other people as mediums then Ren and <clears throat> Hororo can just go and knock him out in that moment so I'm sure like that's not the complete extent of his power there must be something else <clears throat> otherwise he would not be that much of <clears throat> you know confident and just stand there for from the beginning like him being confident like that means that he <clears throat> has some kind of confidence and he knows that he can probably overpower them Is that the end? Yeah. <coughs> all right. So that was this episode. Um, first of all, uh, one thing I'm kind of uh, I don't know, like a little bit um, weird is I, I feel as if they skipped some parts. I might be wrong because you know, like uh, we see that at the beginning, like you know, they like, Ryu and all of them were like, no, like you know, we won't. Uh, allow force to join us uh, Anna then says that nah we like, he will join us and I'll train him to be strong <laughs> stronger and he'll become the doctor <laughs> uh, all that stuff and then like you know like <clears throat> they were talking about Lyserk and then we saw Lyserk a little bit uh, and uh, one of the ex laws the, the the guy he was with him and then it suddenly cut in a weird way and then we fast forwarded into the helicopter and then you know in the tournament we see Faust is with us like I'm not sure if that's how it went in the manga if the manga manga had a similar cut you know or if they skipped some part because I, I was expecting them to actually go to Faust talk with him and then tell him to join and uh, like you know and then Anna would train him or something she, you know, Yo would get his training and we would see something about Lyserg we would see something about Chocolove I was expecting one more episode you know uh, revolving around this and then I was expecting us to go to the tournament but it feels as if like they skipped that whole portion I might like you know this, this might have been like I'm, I'm not sure like the manga might have the same thing or maybe they skipped some stuff and or maybe they are like keeping this for later on you know because like there are some times when anime usually does this like they kind of skip some portions and then after we go a few more episodes in they show us what happened in a flashback you know to kind of keep the suspense or something like that um that might also be the case here i'm not sure but yeah it feels weird suddenly like you know like them saying that yeah we should let Faust join us and then we suddenly see that Faust is with us so <clears throat> I don't know I might be wrong here and uh, yeah and we, we are not even sure if Faust actually joined us or not he's with us we can see that and he's talking with Manta so I don't know uh, yeah it's kind of <clears throat> but I'm sure I will get our answers in the next episode or the episode after that because I feel like a first has joined us I might be wrong though anyways all right so this episode uh, here <clears throat> now <clears throat> we can see that uh, Elisa is not here and <clears throat> okay the thing that Faust says here is I wish to only to talk to her to take her hand okay not this one just a sec okay I became a shaman and joined this event for <clears throat> that reason alone but I've heard bad news I wouldn't be able to participate in the next fight and because you are the only other shamans I know <clears throat> Yokun would you let me join your team okay here's one thing that's kind of confusing me i understand that he became a shaman because he wanted to speak with aliza wanted to spend time with her I, I understand that but why did he join the tournament then you know he could have just lived his own life you know like the uh, was there any reason for him to join the tournament 
because like the, the prerequisite of joining the tournament is you have to be a shaman and because uh, like you know he's a shaman he already <clears throat> has made a contract with um eliza spirit and he she already has eliza you know as his as his spirit so so couldn't he just like you know like he became a shaman and then like you know lived his own life with eliza because that's what he want he wants to talk with eliza and everything oh oh wait a minute oh i'm guessing he wants to become the shaman king because he wants to bring eliza back completely yeah that must be it yeah I think that yeah okay like correct me if I'm wrong but I think that's what he's trying to do you know he wants to become the shaman king and bring Eliza back like by by like you know like completely back or maybe something along those lines like he's not content with having Eliza as a spirit he wants her completely back or something like that so that must be it yeah that's most probably what he's trying for because I was thinking like yeah like why he joined the tournament like he could have just lived his own life with Eliza as his spirit and he wouldn't even need to take these type of risks you know and uh, like take risks of losing Eliza again so most probably he's trying to bring Eliza back completely not as a spirit but you know in a literal sense <clears throat> yeah that's my that must be it okay <clears throat> and he is uh, you know, like, uh, like he, he's kind of a lone wolf as we've already seen. So uh, as soon as he came here and got to know that you need a team for this, like I, like one thing is kind of weird in, in, in this, like, you know, like what happens to the shamans who actually don't have any uh, people to <clears throat> join with? <clears throat> oh, I'm guessing they, okay, okay, yeah, they probably join up with some other shamans. Who are like you know lacking in teammates as well because most probably they, they do something like you know if there's like a single shaman who has no friends and he comes here and he suddenly like hears about that you need a team to join he or she most probably would try to find a team which has either two or one player uh one one member so and joins with them because like you know like obviously they themselves can participate if they don't get uh like this so i'm guessing it's like the similar thing that chocolate did you know he tried to f find a team which can take him and he found one which is yost team so i'm guessing it kind of goes like that so all right so basically what's going to happen here is that they're going to pass as a team you know they're going to win as a team but in the final uh, I'm guessing, you know, like after this round ends, like there will be the people who got disqualified will get disqualified or something, and the teams who which have won, uh, they will, like, you know, go to the next round where probably it will be like individual fights, you know, and then at that moment they'll fight individually and the top person will become the shaman king or something like that, most probably. Like here in this round, it's like a team team effort, team job. But then in the as as you go deep far, further in, in into the rounds uh you will have to fight alone most of all it's something like that <clears throat> so yeah i wonder what happens to the shamans who actually are are not able to find a team you know because maybe there's like a, a shaman who is very strong and uh, because of that or something he's like a lone wolf and he, he or she is unable to find a team and not is unable to participate so what happens with them i don't know anyways okay <clears throat> uh, all right so yeah as i was saying the first part of this episode like uh we see the whole forced situation <laughs> anna wants him to become <laughs> the um you know the doctor the family doctor <laughs> for their inn and uh, yeah, and I was saying this just before the episode start. I was saying that if something happened to Eliza, Anna can probably help him. And that's what Eli uh, Anna said in the end. He, he, she says that I can resurrect Eliza with true necromancy. Because, you know, she, she's uh, very mm, proficient with spirits and all. So, like, you know, she can level up Faust in, like, you know, in immense ways. And as she said, uh, Faust is like a self-made um, shaman. He did not get, he taught himself. So, you know, if, if taught properly, he can be pretty strong. 
Like he himself was very pretty damn strong, even though he taught himself uh, when he fought with Yo, you know. <clears throat> so yeah, okay, that and uh, I'm guessing after that they went and recruited Faust in. So that's that, and then the whole thing with Lysak. Now this is what I was kind of fearing about. I was I've been saying this for I think a couple of episodes that one thing that I'm fearing is that Lysark like as, as long as Lysark is was with Yo everything would have been fine nobody would have been able to influence him because Yo would be there to stop it but as soon as like you know they're split up and they don't know where Lysark is that's when it struck me I was sure that something's going to happen to him either like you know some people is going to uh you know uh make him go the wrong direction and that's what uh, this guy the ex law guy is doing like he f found out that uh Lysark has this type of uh um, goal which and he's kind of hesitating to join uh, Yo in the full sense because of Yo's moral you know moral values and he's hesitating because of that because he wants revenge and Yo probably won't allow that so that's why taking that opportunity the ex laws which who are obviously uh, hell bent on uh, completely annihilating how and all his minions he, he, he took that opportunity and just said that come come with me yeah, I'll give you power. And he said something about um, the X Law guy. He said something about uh, the master. I want you to meet our master that give you the power you crave. I thought he was the leader, so he's not the leader. There's someone even on top of him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right, and then we get to the whole, uh, you know, Silva and Anna talking. And here's one thing that Anna said, which I also thought about previously, like there must be some kind of relationship with Silva and Yo, because there are a few things that kind of bothers, bothered me all, always, like number one, obviously, like I'm sure that it, this bothers everyone uh, who's watching this for the first time. Um, Silva looks a lot like Hao's reincarnation, uh, you know, previous incarnation, like previous incarnation. So there must be some kind of... Uh, relationship you know i'm not sure and uh, that's like one of the biggest thing that usually and kind of is bothering and he's also trying to help yo so must be some kind of connection that's what anna asked but you know silver did not answer and uh, we see that anna has already mastered the technique and uh, the two shikigamis are all already under her control and that's impressive and obviously we know like anna is very you know proficient with Fritz and also he, she was able to tame them very easily and very quickly. <clears throat> okay. And uh, all right, that and then we get to the tournament scene where the first match starts. Uh, the boss and the, the other guy and uh, obviously our team, Ren, Tokolov and Horohoro. And I have to say like, just like they said, um, Chocolate also surprised me because like yeah I never underestimated him but I didn't even think that he would be this strong like he was able to defeat the boss very easily and very quickly so yeah that's very interesting like he yeah he, he is pretty damn strong <clears throat> okay that and uh, Okay, so one thing, uh, the thing that Anna explained, just a sec, where is it? Anna explained how this works. Okay. Okay, yeah, Oyo says he's really the Jaguar. Anna says that he's better than I thought. He integrated his own body into his oversoul. Okay. Okay, you know what he did? <laughs> yes, Mochiko. Okay, he let his guardian spirit take over his head and his limbs and integrate with his own oversoul. Oh, uh, his head and limbs and integrate with his own. Oh, wait, uh, just a sec.
Okay, he okay, Anna says that. Okay, Anna says that uh, he made uh, the guardian spirit take over his head and hands and then went into oversoul. That I, I'm guessing that's what she's saying. So, okay. Specifically, he surrendered his eyes and nails. He allowed the jaguar to possess him. It's a special kind of integration. Advanced technique. All right. So basically, what she's saying that she, that uh, the jaguar uh, possessed him, few of his parts, his head and his hands, and then they went into oversoul. So, uh, like you know, Anna says that it's kind of like sacrificing his eyes and nails, but. I'm guessing like in this for the time being as soon as the oversoul went goes out he'll get back his eyes and, and nails most probably okay and yeah he says that she's he's the, he's a person who transforms into jaguar via via his oversoul all right so that's like uh, his uh, specifications of his power okay that's that and then comes the surprising part with Piotr that's his name okay now <laughs> we can see that how as as how says that you know like yeah I don't really care if they win or lose I just want some entertainment because he's very like he, he's confident that he himself will win you know and that's what he wants so <laughs> this is like a little bit of a uh, what do you call it uh, passing time for him you know like he, he just wants a little entertainment before he gets into the ring <laughs> boy and uh, all right and then uh, <clears throat> then peot I, I think that's that's the guy's name he you know uh, he's like it feels as if he's controlling the boss and as as like they say in the end that uh, they're unconscious the bosses are unconscious but they're still going could be like you know picking themselves up and fighting so i'm guessing somehow this guy is controlling them in a way and i'm not even sure if that's like the full extent of his power i doubt it you know i doubt that's the full extent of his power so there must be something that he's hiding he, he has a thing in his um back i'm not sure what that is you know that he's carrying so i'm sure he's going to show his actual power in the next episode because obviously the bulls can go and like you know attack him and Chocolove, but Chocolove is very strong. He won't be, he won't be, like, you know, uh, like nothing will be, will inconvenience him. So he can just, like, you know, keep beating them and defeating them. Unless and until uh, Piot himself tries, like, you know, joins the team. And there's a bigger thing that's actually, uh, like, you know, happening is that only Chocolove is fighting. No, like Ren and Horohoro has done nothing up until now. So even I don't know. Even if Peyot he decides to fight, what will he do? Even like you know alone, he seems pretty confident. But uh, you know, like we already know how strong Ray, um, uh, Ren and um, Horohoro is, especially Ren. So I don't see any way that he's going to win this, but he seems pretty confident, which is kind of, uh, kind of weird because, uh, like you know, it's as if like he has full confidence in his powers or something. But yeah, let's wait for it, and uh, yeah, <laughs> let's see what happens. He he seems pretty confident, but I doubt he himself is enough to actually defeat all of them you know chocolate horo horo and um, uh, ren so yeah let's wait for it and okay so yeah i think that was it mm, let's see yeah that was it so yeah guys that was uh, my reaction to shaman king episode number 19 so if you guys enjoyed this reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king so until then goodbye and have a nice day